It's a sunny day in Long Beach, just south of Los Angeles. Throughout the day, students will arrive from all corners of America for the opportunity of a lifetime to attend the Student Television Network convention. In the next few hours, nearly 3,000 students, teachers and chaperones will arrive in this Southern California city. For many, this will be an experience that they will never forget. Just 60 miles to the south, in the beach town of Carlsbad, California, it's game time. We are congregating inside the broadcasting classroom <laughs> before we head off in the school buses to Long Beach, which is an hour and a half drive away, to start off our yearly STN journey. <laughs> and we're gonna catch some W. We're gonna win. Yeah. We're do have, we do have oh one gosh. small problem. Headed to STN 2023 Long Beach. I think I'm the last one on the bus, so, yep, already. When I stepped off that bus, I was like, oh man, I cannot wait to start competing because this, the STN convention is the highlight of my year. It's the best part of the whole school year, in my opinion. We pull up to the hotel right next to the convention center. We see all these other schools there. What was going through my mind when I first got there, I was just really excited because it was just like a whole new experience for me. I haven't really ever like experienced something like this like in my life. I'm just really excited. You know, I love STN and so I'm just it's going to be a great experience. We're at the hotel about to get our rooms and we're super excited to go in. The STN convention is run by broadcasting and filmmaking teachers from across the country. For the next three days, nearly 2,500 students will be competing in grueling, deadline-driven contests where they will face real-world challenges. And they will be attending workshops that are moderated by some of the biggest names in the news broadcasting and movie business. The first, and perhaps the most grueling contest, is called Crazy 8. Teams of students are given eight hours to produce a broadcast, a fiction film, or a documentary. The deadlines are unforgiving. In the first day uh, of our STN contest, we got up for a competition called Crazy 8. We had eight hours to produce a broadcast morning show, and it was crazy. Crazy 8's name definitely is one of the most fitting names for any of the STN challenges. We have two hours until Crazy Aids due. This piece should have been in an hour ago, but we're trying to make it absolutely perfect. At this point, we're, we have like five minutes left. So Mr. K keeps on, um, he's on his Mac, MacBook, and he keeps on uploading the show. Uh, it keeps on saying it doesn't work. No matter how much you think you're prepared, you're never gonna be fully prepared for those final 20 minutes before the deadline. Literally in like the last like 10, 15 minutes, that whole time, we're like trying to like finish this thing up. Liam was back at the bunker just crunching out graphics, you know, and we were like pretty much like they would make a graphic and right away they'd upload it into Google Drive. Why did you see this like four hours? Yeah. And we take it from Google Drive, put it in. We had to make changes on some of them and stuff like that. And it was like a crazy mess because we were just like trying to get these graphics that we really wanted to get in, you know, for all the anchor shots. Everyone was just really on edge because we had less than, I think, less than a minute left before we turned it in. time was clicking down you you hear mr green we're like telling me like hey you guys gotta wrap this up it's like almost done and yeah pretty much like we got all those graphics in just at the time that we wanted to upload and so we had like literally 10 minutes left we started uploading and it was going so slow oh my god it felt like it was taking forever we made the deadline it was awesome our video i think was amazing so uh it's very stressful and uh it's definitely worthwhile once you win an award in crazy Eight. I know, I know, I'm just curious. I'm talking about like plot twists at the end. I was just like, yeah. it was like in the Crazy Eight film process, we were in these chairs outside the bunker, and that was just our brainstorming time. So we all had a ton of ideas coming in. Finding the idea is always the hardest part for us. Uh, it's just difficult to find like an idea that everyone works with. Some individuals have some ideas, and you may not work well together, but you kind of have to put that aside and kind of just all, you know be mindful of everybody else's ideas. We were all sharing ideas. Our ideas were colliding, some we'd agree, some we'd disagree. We create a new idea out of two ideas that were pretty good. We make a really, really good idea out of that. We ended up just saying, you know, we just got to get out there and start filming, and we eventually got on the roll. We did a bad thing for a good reason. They were like our only choice.
More than 110 students from Carlsbad High School and Valley Middle School were accompanied by a committed group of parent chaperones. Without their support, this experience for the students would be impossible. They are so important. Without them, like, half of our show would not be produced. We would not make it Crazy Eight Deadline without them. We wouldn't even be at STN without them. They just keep us sane. It's like someone there who's an adult who's been through stress before can just be an outlet for us to see that, relax a little bit. So the STN moms are super sweet and they bring us food so we don't have to hunt around town for like new places to get food. And they get us cinnamon rolls and strawberries and it's super sweet of them to do that for us. For a record-breaking 16 years, Carlsbad High School has won the prestigious STN Award of Excellence in the competitive category of daily live broadcasting. But in this fast-paced, ever-changing broadcast news industry, records are made to be broken. We're doing great, you know, we put in all this time and effort to be here right now, baby! When they didn't say Carlsbad High School for the best daily live broadcast. The winner of high school daily live show for broadcast excellence goes to... West Ranch High School! My jaw, to be honest, was on the floor. I was so scared in that moment. My heart was racing. I was like, oh no. Mr. Green just retired and traveled all the way back from Wales to be here with us and we didn't win. I, everyone's hearts just kind of like stopped for a second because we didn't know what was going on. I remember when she said the other high school, my heart just kind of stopped and we all looked around at each other and my mind I remember immediately went to Mr. K. I was just like, what is he going to think? What are we going to do? I just, I felt kind of bad. I remember I looked around and I was like, wow, we just, we just lost. And I was like, I felt bad for the seniors. I felt like, what can we approve on our shows? Like, where did we go wrong? With a crazy eight contest out of the way and all of Carlsbad's teams making deadline, attention now turns to Friday and Saturday where the students will alternate between competing in the on-site contests and attending workshops. This is where STN turns up the heat. The deadlines become even more challenging. I just got my wristbands for short film because I didn't want to go later when everybody was in line. So I'm prepared for short film. This is for the editing day. You have to like find an idea, film it, and then edit it in a certain time frame. And well, half the time you don't know what you're doing and then... It's like a whole like mix of emotions when you're going through this thing. And they, they're purposely trying to make us feel that way by giving us a prompt, by giving us a time slot, by giving us a story that's not really feasible like people who don't do this can't figure out how to deal with that because it's like the hardest thing you can do and even being prepared is not prepared enough and I call it orchestrated chaos because it is when you're in a situation like that. For 20 years the Carlsbad students have been recognized and awarded for their professionalism and their dedication to the craft of storytelling. With 19 Emmy Awards and four prestigious Pacemaker Awards, they understand the value of telling important stories. For one team, however, this dedication also led to heartbreak and a powerful life lesson for two talented students and friends. I was on that package, you know, uh, where we make a, you make a story without any voiceovers and you primarily use Nat sound. We filmed, we got everything perfect. We were super excited to edit. We run to the editing bunker at 1.30. We got a really good interview. We got a really good B-roll. Um, and we get back to the editing bay. Uh, we're getting the footage ready. We are like importing our footage. We're about to walk into the editing bay. You know, I, I got, I'm gonna take some responsibility here. I put the SD card in upside down. I noticed that the SD card icon didn't show up on the computer. So I was like, oh, well, SD card must be in wrong or something. So I checked and it was upside down. It was just a moment of like despair. I was, I was really just, I felt defeated, but you know, I kept trying, I kept trying, I kept trying. 
And to no avail, I mean, we missed, we missed the 1.30 deadline to be in the editing room. I think I was so emotional about the whole situation because this is like, this is something that I love so much. I was trying to be like, hey, like we could still fix this. He was already like, like, no, we can't fix this. Like he was, he was really stressed out. I was the leader of the group and I was like the one who was dealing with it the worst. And I think that that was something I need to work on is dealing with stressful situations. We're good friends. So it's like, we're not mad at each other. It's just, we're mad at the situation. I just need to be able to sit back and say, this isn't the worst thing that could have happened. We could have not gotten a story at all. Like, like I said, I love meeting new people and we got to film with someone who told us their amazing story and that was enough for me. Yes, maybe we failed as a group, but I found peace knowing that I met someone who made my life better. STN, I'd like to say, has changed me for the better. Um, I'm an only child, so I've always been used to, you know, trying to run things how I think they would work the best, how I think they would flow the best. And working in STN and in broadcasting as a whole with the competitions, it's always hearing someone else's ideas, thinking, oh my gosh, that would be so much better than mine. I feel like STN kind of helped me out a lot with throwing unexpected things at me and learning how I process it react to it. I was definitely taken out of my comfort zone, especially for most of my life. I've been very shy and broadcasting as a whole has helped with that. But then with pin trading, I still am fairly shy, but more out of my comfort zone now. STN did bring me out of my comfort zone because it made me just more creative and brought up my storytelling to a whole new level. Social situations are harder for right, someone right. like me. And STN just kind of forces you to get out of your comfort zone. At STN, I realized that, you know, working as a team is what really matters. On Saturday, the second to the last day of the convention, a group of seventh grade broadcasting students traveled from Carlsbad to visit for the day. Today, they will get a first hand look at STN. We're going to be um, talked to, like, um, we're going to learn some things by a bunch of different people. A lot of us expect you guys to have very great behavior, and it would really suck to um, have somebody come and tell Mr. Green or Mr. K that a few kids from Carlsbad have been misbehaving because you guys are now Carlsbad at CHS TV. Uh, it's been very active, hectic, hectic. There is a famous quote from the writer Thomas Hodkinson that says, when the going gets tough, the tough take a nap. Fueled by adrenaline and camaraderie, getting some rest between the long hours of contests and workshops can be a challenge. Sleep was kind of hard. I was in a room with three other teenage boys, uh, teenage boys, I guess, and uh, it's a lot of moving around and a lot of jumping around, but uh, we were able to make it work. Our bedtime is uh, 11 p.m., so... Uh, Sorry, I lost track of time. We have to make sure we're in our rooms, but uh, I'd say we were probably running on like six, five hours of sleep every night. Definitely the first night, I got zero sleep. I was a little bit tired during the Crazy Eight, but I think by the end of the trip, I was like getting better at sleeping. <laughs> sleep at SCN is something not many people get. I mean, you just can't fall asleep at STN. Like, you can't put you and your friends in a hotel room and just expect, oh yeah, we're just gonna go to sleep at nine o'clock. Like, not, I, you can't do it. It's impossible. There is something profound about the thrill of traveling together, competing together, and sharing the joys and disappointments of a convention together. It can be life-changing. STN, it's, it's a place like no other. I mean, you're going with this group of people, not even a group, it's, you're so close with these people, it's like a family. And when you get there, you're surrounded by people just like you. A bunch, a whole group of broadcasters all pushing themselves to be the best they can be. I think it brought us together because we're, we're fighting for one goal, to, to turn it in. And I feel like when, when there's a group of people working together, that can really bring together a group. I would say I'm close with the whole class now because it's just like, it just brings people together. The Crazy A and STN, just the whole experience in general, I'd say I feel a lot closer to people in that class because like we have that connection that we stayed with each other for like four days working together non-stop. This year, for the second year in a row, a talented team of students from the neighboring Sage Creek 
Creek High School joined the Carlsbad High School team where the two schools set aside their sports rivalries to compete as one group of broadcast journalists and filmmakers. We as SAGE students learn a lot from Carlsbad, but I, the Carlsbad kids also believe maybe that they learned a lot from us. We all come together as this one big family of Carlsbad and we're really just representing of who we are, but not only that we're students in Carlsbad Unified District, but we're students who love filmmaking and love editing and love journalism and love sharing stories. And some of the stuff they do is amazing and it definitely wouldn't be the same without them because they give so much incredible feedback. They have incredible talent and they're just awesome people in general. They bring so much to CHS TV and even being rival schools, as CHS and Sage Creek, it really does not feel like that when we are at STN and we just make the most of it and they have been amazing to have with us. STN has experienced tremendous growth after a rough couple of years during the pandemic. With the remarkable expansion in membership, the Carlsbad students have noticed that the competition has increased as well. I think this year's competition proved that as the years go, it does get harder and harder, but that just means that we have to work harder and harder, and I think we definitely have it in us, and I think it's a great thing that it does get harder and harder because it pushes us to be better journalists. Winning a contest against the best people in the country just feels better. What STN does is makes a space where people can get better all the time and makes just the whole like community of broadcasting get better and student broadcasting get better and prepares you for reporting in the future. For CHSTV seniors, this will be their final STN convention. They have made memories that will last forever. I'm very sad that this is my last STN. I've always looked forward to it, especially being a freshman when COVID hit. We lost my freshman STN experience and basically my sophomore experience. That was just remote, so we had to do that around Carlsbad, which was still fun. But if you know and if you've been to STN, you know it wasn't the same. So I'm definitely sad that I feel like I got robbed on a few experiences at STN, but there's nothing you can do about it. And I'm just really grateful that I've had such a good time the past two years at STN. I think it's definitely bittersweet knowing that uh, I just had my last STN convention. Since uh, we weren't, as seniors, we weren't able to get the full STN experience. But um, I think it was definitely worth it. STN was a great experience. And uh, that's why I think it has helped build my passion as uh, I'm planning on going into film school after high school at SCSU. So I think if it weren't for STN and for the broadcasting program, I wouldn't be uh, continuing this in my life. I'm a big like envisioner. Like I envision um, success I like when I'm getting ready, I think of like being up there on stage or something or like someone's name being called out of the Carlsbad and thinking about jumping up and screaming and how exciting, exciting that is. That morning, that Sunday morning is probably the most nerve wracking morning of the whole weekend because it's like, did our hard work pay off? Um, just getting ready. I was getting ready with two freshmen and I know that this was their first time competing in the high school division and I could tell that they were nervous too. Sort of like walking out of a tunnel at, or at a sporting event, like heading onto the field, just like you have all this much to prove, it's finally coming to a head, and you know, it's time to see if you are worthy, I guess. When the convention came to an end, the Carlsbad schools took home 21 awards, but perhaps more importantly, the students returned home with memories that will last a lifetime. We just came back from, um, the, from the ceremony, and um, I was in New Story, and we got second place. Our team with me, Jackson, Maddie, and Aaron just won third place for the middle school anchoring team. We got third place right here for commercial with Micah, and uh, we had some technical difficulties, but we pulled through. So it was a good turnout and we're really happy for the work. We just won first for our human interest, human interest story. feature story, yeah. Yeah, so we're super excited. And we, got, we got the nice glass plat. Uh, Nina has it right now. Yeah. We got second place in anchor team. We worked really hard. We had to walk all the way down to beach in like six inch heels, so definitely worth it. I'm super proud of us. Our team did amazing. You're too, you're too far back. Too far back. Fourth place. What's the credit we want, but we're happy with fourth place. It's always an achievement here at FCN. There's so many great schools. And yeah, I'm proud of everyone in CHSTV. We worked really hard for this all year. And yeah, everyone did a great job. 
seeing how the other schools are catching up and they're becoming amazing competitors, it's a great experience for them as well and it's also good for us because it kind of gives us some motivation. We're going to keep going and we're going to keep getting better. We got some awards. We didn't do amazing but we definitely learned a lot and we're hoping to uh, come back humbled and a little bit better next year. It's definitely fun. I mean obviously we didn't really get as many awards as we hoped but it was still a good experience. I think we all did a great job and we were all respectful for the other schools and it was really cool just like meeting everyone since Last year there weren't as many schools here, so it was cool meeting everyone and getting to know everyone better. It's my last year at SGN, but even though we didn't place in some things, it's more about the experience. And this is a very great time for everybody. And it's about what you learn and your growth as you continue with your career in broadcasting. So definitely a great STN. I thought it went great. I think we did a great job. We unfortunately didn't place on our competition, but I think we went really great and I had so much fun. I think we we're going to do a lot better next year and I had a lot of fun. When Cameron got on the bus and he started his speech, we were all kind of beat down after closing ceremonies because we didn't do as well as we thought we would. All right, everybody, this is not the outcome we hoped for. At the end of the convention, I felt like everybody else. I was exhausted. Uh, I felt that same feeling of defeat, too. And when Mr. Green asked me to give the speech, I was kind of bummed. I'm like, I want to sit down. I wanted to take a nap. But I think it was something that was super useful. Everything will just be bigger and better for next year. So round of applause to everybody. I think you guys did a great job. And <laughs>